stop your bullying. Stop your bullying. Leave it for your bedroom. Go bully each other in your bedroom, but do not bring it out on the streets. Words of disdain from attorney Arjun Matura Shepard, staunchly objecting UWI's decision to sack Professor Brendan Courtney Bain, former director of the Caribbean HIV AIDS Regional Training Network. Matura Shepard is one of a handful of activists to have foregone lunch today to silently protest what is being described as the institution's surrender to the various pressure groups urging for Bain's removal, following a testimony given in the existing Unibam challenge. I think they were cowards and as an institution of higher learning, that is not the lesson we want them to teach our children. I think people should boycott the University of the West Indies. They want apology not only to Dr. Bain, but to the whole region. At the heart of the uproar is Dr. Bain's statement, a deposition before the Supreme Court of Belize in which he comments expertly on HIV AIDS and homosexuality. The content of that affidavit, its interpretation, the call for his removal as head of chart and his subsequent termination have created a spread of consequences that is being felt all the way here. Professor Bain has been a lighthouse supporting HIV AIDS help, getting it non-stigmatized. He has done a lot of research and done a lot of work to help the HIV AIDS community. He's a personal friend of mine. And I think this is an unjust situation. The erudite professor, an authority on HIV AIDS studies within the Caribbean, was relieved of his post on Tuesday. In the wake of his release, the Belizean public has offered numerous comments, some of which would not necessarily sit well with the religious community. In response to a story we ran on Thursday, one blogger referring to Professor Bain's dismissal says, quote, He was supporting Section 53, which goes against one of the core values and globally accepted strategies of every organization working to prevent HIV AIDS. It would be like a pastor from Scott Sturm's group saying he doesn't believe in prayer or the existence of God. The pastor would have the right to his belief, but Sturm would be right to argue that the pastor in question no longer would have the confidence of his parishioners." Unquote. Pastor Lewis Wade has been rather vocal on the issue. He is of a completely different persuasion. One of the persons who submitted an affidavit was Dr. and Professor Bain of Jamaica. Caleb Orozco's organization, Unibam, as well as 34 other organizations, banded together to ostracize and ensure the termination of the livelihood of Dr. Bain. Caleb Orozco is now on Belize media and Jamaican media congratulating the university for dismissing a person who is a witness and an expert in the case. How can we as a nation, a media and a people accept such behavior that I can only call witness tampering? That purported obstruction of justice is also believed to be a breach of Bain's fundamental right to freedom of speech. The symbolism of sealing one's mouth from members of today's congregation speaks volumes. We have to stand up for what is right for freedom of speech and freedom of speech like we are in a democratic country and in a democratic country that means that you have freedom of speech and so we're standing up for what is right for my, on my behalf and on, on the church behalf we are out here as to stand up for what is right. The ongoing row hinges on a decision which remains to be handed down by Chief Justice Kenneth Benjamin in a constitutional challenge whereby Unibam's executive director, Caleb Orozco, is seeking a repeal of Section 53 of the Criminal Code. Imagine the audacity, the ruling hasn't even come out yet. They made a move the minute this man went to give evidence. That is very low, very low. So they're hypocrites and they're saying that people who do not support a homosexual lifestyle or sodomy are bigots. I think the real bigots need to stand up. They need to stand up and they're definitely not out here. Is it arguable that it would either be ironic or paradoxical that the same people who are um, saying that they're fighting for discrimination 
it would seem as if they, though they are the very same ones who are perpetuating that discrimination. Of course, that's the hypocrisy of the situation. You say you don't want to be discriminated against. And now you want to make sure that you discriminate people. Now, everybody have the right to work. Imagine, they don't even want this man to work. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Cayetano.